Hello everyone, I'm Bunny Tails, and today I am going to be watching Galaxy Quest for the first time. This movie was voted by my patrons. I have been going through Star Trek the original series, as many of you know, and the people have decided it's time for me to watch this film specifically because of that. I do hope you guys will enjoy this one. Thank you so much for watching. Grab Thar's hammer, we live to tell the tale. Systems registered, functional. All systems are working, Commander. Your time is opening everywhere! Trap! Is that Sigourney Weaver? I like their ship, it looks cool. No! Never give up! Never surrender! That's where that's from? Activate the Omega 13. <laughs> This is where Never Give Up, Never Surrender is from? Yeah! All right. Okay. And now... That's amazing. The Intrepid Crew. Yeah! yeah! Red scarf. White scarf, black button. There are a lot of big actors in this. The hell is he? An hour and a half late? I mean, this is unreal. He booked another appearance without us. You're kidding. Uh... I was an actor once. Damn it! Now look at me. Look at me. <laughs> and I will say that stupid line one more time. At least you had a part. No one even bothered to ask me what I do on the show. You had the. I repeated the computer friend. <laughs> Your commander is on deck. Am I too late for Alexander's panic attack? <laughs> okay. What did I do? This set looks just like a Star Trek set, too. Okay. Yeah. You will go out there. I won't. And nothing you say will make me. You might as well. You got the whole head shebang going. Spent like seven hours in makeup putting it on. Come on now. Just go out there. Let's say that stupid line one more time. Alexander Day. My grandpa's hammer. You shall be. Is that the line? <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. Oh, that's his line. Oh, hey, man. Um, guy. You probably don't remember me, do you? Episode 81. Got killed by a lava monster before the first commercial. Uh, by Grabthar's hammer. I shall avenge you. I grab the Next. <laughs> Excuse me, Commander. Hey, I was wondering if uh, you could help settle the dispute that my crew and I seem to be having. Uh, Excuse me this... for a minute, fellas. I saw they gave each other a look. In episode 15, I got the feeling that you and the commander kind of had a thing. The commander and I never had a thing. Well, that's her story. Commander. Excuse me. We are Thermians from the Klaatu Nebula, and we need your help. Is this about the gig tomorrow? Just hammer out the details with my agent and make sure there's a limo at my house. <laughs> Remember, mum is the word. Mum. 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 Are they supposed to be like, well, I mean, I don't know. I think they're their own thing, not really Vulcans. It was cute when I didn't know you. <sighs> Look at all the cosplayers. Like me. And those must be the Klingon adjacents right there. Well, at least he can kind of blend in with all the cosplayers. Bunch of losers! Begging for autographs at 15 bucks a pop? Dude, did you check out Nesmith? He actually oh, gets yeah. off on those retards <laughs> thinking he's a space commander. Yeah. Oh, and his friends? I know, they can't stand him! Friends. Idea, he's a laughing stock, even to his buddies. Don't listen to those YouTube comments, okay? I know it's tough, but don't listen to him. Aw, hey, there goes his whole charisma. So, we were wondering just where the air lies in that. It's just a television show. That's all, okay? Because we were wondering if the quantum flux... And I just listen on there. There is, is no That guy is me watching flux. Star Trek. How does this work scientifically? And, you know, why is this and why is that? And people are just like, Bunny. <laughs> like, you're overthinking it. It's just a show. It's not real. <laughs> I have questions that need answers, okay? Ship this fine one. ship and this fine crew. Never give up. Never give up. Never surrender. 
never surrender. Got a nice place there. Here are these guys again. The Widow's Peak Squad. We are Thymians from the uh, Klaatu Nebula. Oh. Our people are being slaughtered by Rathaseris uh, Fatukri. Please, Commander, you are our last hope. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should get some pants on. Oh. Commander. Uh, why are I they... must say that standing here in your <laughs> presence is the greatest honor we could ever have hoped to achieve in our lifetimes. Would you guys look for another shoe that looks like this, please? Yeah. This is so, so strange. This whole interaction is just not right. Our people were one pe What's your name? Her translator is broken. <laughs> Okie dokie. And it was in this time of dissension that Sarah... Oh. Beam me up, buddy. <laughs> but your presence is requested on the command deck. Oh, her translator is working now. Wants an answer to his proposal. Yeah. I understand. I got most of it in the car. Saris is the bad guy, right? Oh, yes, sir. He is a very bad man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got the picture. Do, do you have pages or do you just want me to wing this? So he thinks this is some kind of scripted thing. And uh, they're clearly not from Earth. The Thermians have appointed a new commander to handle the negotiations. What? Bug people. Sir. We apologize for operating Whoa. in low power mode, but we are experiencing a hmm, reflective flux. And they think he's really a space hero. First, ah, I require idea. the Omega 13. Require a technician. Hey, Okie dokie, uh, let's fire blue particle cannons full, red particle cannons full. That should take care of old lobster head, shouldn't it? Yeah. What? <laughs> what is that little run? Time to get back to Earth, kids. But the, the negotiation, you, you, you fired on him. But what if Sarah survives? Oh, I doubt I gave him both barrels. How can we thank you, Commander? You, you have saved our people. You know, you kids have been great, you really have. This thing is real looking. Well, he's got a communicator. Oh. This is different. Are they going to shoot him through space in a jelly suit? Oh my goodness gracious me. You know, this makes rematerializing look not so bad, actually. But we've never seen space age values like we've seen here. At Tech Value Electronics Superstore. Say the line. By Grabthar's <laughs> hammer. What a savings. <laughs> what a savings. This is my favorite shop on the Citadel. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Evidently, we had a little miscommunication regarding voyage. You did it again. If you know what time it is, why do you even bother to show up at all? Remember yesterday at the convention? Those people dressed like aliens? They were aliens. They were termites or, or Dalmatians. <laughs> I got to fight this guy named Sarah and I kicked his ass. Hopefully, but I'm guessing not. Protector, this is the commander. Over. Oh, for God's sake. This isn't mine. That kid, where's that kid? Saris lives. Listen. He was able upon your departure to Tell make them. an escape. However, he has Saris. contacted us and wishes to negotiate a surrender. Th don't even think about it. Let's go. This isn't some kind of prank. I'm not kidding. You know, it's one thing to treat us this way. It's another thing to do it to your fans. You should have just let me hit him. I was waiting for someone to hit him, honestly. I think we should have just taken the gig. You really think he was talking about a job? Oh. We are coming too. I look forward to meeting you all in person when you arrive at the ship. End transmission. Oh, that makes sense. Oh my god. Time to get jellied. Anybody got any change? Is he not going with them? They said five. That does sound good. Oh my 
Lord. That's the guy from the Green Mile, huh? Billy the Kid? Nose trimmer. Our most sincere apologies. Forgot about our appearance generators. Oh, that's that's Who their the actual Grand Tour? form. Whoa. Ah! That was a hell of a thing. What's wrong with them? I don't know. Come on. Well, he took that trip quite well. He's a natural at the jelly travel. This is Mathazar. He's their leader. Hi, I'm Mathazar. Talk to Lazarus. Talk to Lazarus. Lieutenant Madison. Lieutenant Madison. Young Laredo, how you've grown. Young Laredo. And the other guy? Recruitment number s Guy. Guy. <laughs> they don't even remember when he died to the lava monster. A year since we first received transmission of your historical documents. You've been watching the show? Lieutenant, historical documents. We have modeled every aspect of our society from your example, and it has saved us. Your courage and teamwork and friendship through adversity. You can learn a lot about those things from watching Star Trek. Hmm? Would you guys like to see the ship? I personally feel like I am a better person after watching certain shows, movies, and playing certain games. They have a lot of great lessons in them. And Star Trek is definitely no exception, right? Oh my god. It's real. Are you crazy? We have to get out of here. You wanted come to come, on, lady. Guys. Jason, we are actors, not astronauts. Oh, we're in space. Alexander, this is the role of a lifetime. You guys want to leave? At ease. It's like throwing gasoline on a flame. What? I was just about being on the show, man. <laughs> I remember, I remember I had it all worked out. This is forward, this is back. So he's the navigator? Some of the crew has requested to be present at this historic event. It's gonna be a lot of them, huh? <laughs> Laredo, take us out. Excuse me? They designed those controls after watching you. Okay. Right. Start engines. There you go. Yeah, I'm not sure this is a great idea. It does look kind of fun to... to fly a spaceship though, right? Gotta steer. They do it on Aberdeen? Was it? <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. Steak? It's like corn fed Iowa beef. We programmed the food synthesizer for each of you based on the regional menu of your birthplace. Okay, where you did it. In the show. It great. Oh. Are you enjoying your catbot blood ticks, Dr. Lazarus? Just like mother used to make. Oh, he, do he doesn't get a steak. Tell me, Mathers, uh, this Saris person that we're flying to meet. He heard about the device, the Omega-13. He's got steak oh, and the potatoes. Omega-13 device. We don't know what it does either. Well, why don't you just turn it on and see what it does? <laughs> <laughs> if we were mistaken in our construction, the device would act as a molecular explosive. It would obliterate all matter in the universe. How does he know about the Omega-13 device? Our former commander was not strong. <laughs> Well, yeah, time to go. <laughs> I'm expendable. I'm the guy in the episode who dies to prove the situation is serious. I get a good <laughs> He got taken out by the Horda. 
Saris will surely detonate any objects leaving the ship. Your presence is required on the command deck. We meet again, Commander. How you doing? Uh, better than my lieutenant. Oh. Deliver the device to me, or I will destroy your ship. Did you just flip him off? You know, okay. Gosh darn it, I give up. It's yours, you can have it. Gwen. Oh. He's as stupid as he is ugly. Hello. Come here. Jason. The transmission's still going. Press these red buttons and send everything we have towards him, okay? Put me back on with it. Well, I'm trying to tell you, you are back. Perhaps I'm not as stupid as I am ugly. Give you the kill gesture. No, you gave me the word dead signal. I was agreeing with you. Red thingy moving toward the green thingy. Shields up. Evasive actions. They better get their shit together quick. Their ship looks so cool. It reminds me of something uh, like the Zerg from StarCraft. This should be, this should be behind us. Turbo. I've always said press the turbo, right? Whoa! We're learning! He is matching velocity. Enemy is matching velocity! Gosh, I'm doing it. I'm repeating the darn computer. What is her job? <laughs> they're, they're telling me the, uh, the generators won't take it. The ship is breaking apart and all that. I might be able to lose him in, in, in this cloud here. This is the Tothian minefield left standing from the great minefield. Oh, that's so cool. It's not cool that we're flying right into it, though. Could you possibly try not to hit every single one? What are you doing to help? Oh, damn. Everybody, all right? Where's Tommy? They need a Scotty. Alex, where are you going? To see if there's a pub. <laughs> I need a drink. Why don't we have power? The beryllium sphere has fractured under stress. Is there a, a replacement beryllium sphere on board? Computer, is there a replacement beryllium sphere on board? She has to be the one to ask the questions. You know, that is really getting annoying. Look, I have one job on this lousy ship. It's stupid, but I'm gonna do it, okay? Sure, no problem. <laughs> A thousand apologies. We have failed you. I think the other way around. It's, 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 it's my fault. We, we... We are not the people you think we are. They're not all historical documents. I mean, surely you don't think that Gilligan's Island is a... Oh. Those poor people. Don't tell them Santa Claus isn't real. Don't tell them Gilligan's Island isn't real. <laughs> Deception. Lies. Lies. We have only recently become aware of this concept in our dealings with Ceres. But if you are saying that any of you could have traits in common with Ceres... <laughs> ah, 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 ah. I have to start laughing like that now found some beryllium on a nearby planet. If we reconfigure the solar matrix in parallel for endothermic propulsion, we'll do that. Right. If you imagine him saying it, like imagine Scotty saying those lines with a little oomph, then it sounds really cool. I hope I am not breaching protocol, but I am so very humbled. Don't ask him to say the presence. line. By Grabthar's hammer, Dr. Lazarus. Don't do that. Just don't. Aww. I I feel like I would be equally annoyed if I was famous for like one line and every time like people would recognize you off the street and be like, say the line. Like I'm more than just this line and this character. I feel like a lot of famous actors probably deal with things like that. <laughs> I changed my mind, I wanna go back. After the fuss you made about getting left behind. But now I'm taking on the guy who gets killed by some monster five minutes after we land on the planet. Bobby! 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 He actually is going to die. <laughs> Does this guy ever get scared? Like, what's wrong with him? Hey, don't open that! It's an alien planet! Is there air? You don't know! <laughs> 
<laughs> this guy's speaking facts. Seems okay. Oh. It made me yawn. Which way, Alexander? Right, quarter? This way. Trying to finish this mission, we have to use some self-control. Uh, self-control? It's funny coming from a guy who slept with every Tarakian and slave girl and moon princess on the show. <laughs> He's just like Kirk. There they are. Beryllium spheres. Let's go. Hello? Could they be the miners? Oh. Sure. I mean, they're like three years old. Miners, not miners. <laughs> you lost me. Look. There's a little hurt one. Oh. Hi. Hi, there's the dog. Did you guys ever watch the show? That's me every time some strange animal is nearby and I'm just like trying to pet it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's get out of here before one of those things kills God. Fred, we need a diversion to clear the compound of those things. Then Alex and Gwen and I will go get a sphere. Why does this sound so familiar? Assault on Voltrex 3, episode 81. We're doing episode 81. Is that the one where he dies? I died in episode 81. You're in Tommy, your lookout. You see anything at all, you give us a signal, all right? What kind of a signal? I thought he was worried about dying. Now he's looking at boobs. Let's go. Oh, uh. <laughs> the roll. <laughs> Does the rolling help? Uh-huh. It helps. Yeah, not as easy as Kirk makes it look, huh? This is great. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. Oh, oh shut up. up. Oh, no. They look like a bunch of little dung beetles rolling a pile of poop. <laughs> Go ahead. There's no time. Get in. Get in. Oh, you've got to be the hero, haven't you? Haven't forbid anybody else gets the spotlight. Oh, no. Jason Nesbitt. Oh. oh! Jason! Someone finally got punched. No, no, no! Jason, please! Tommy, don't do punch! Well, they're not tearing him to shreds yet. Of course, it's always about you, isn't it? <laughs> this guy is so salty. <laughs> That's what your children look like? Hit it with a rock? Huh? Ah! They're still cute. Even with the teeth, they're cute. That's not cute. Uh, oh. 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 Oh, he has to battle. I think I can take it. Jason, we're gonna use the digital conveyor to get you out of there. I'm gonna have to get diced into cubes? Can sit oh. up there in a million pieces? They do right. have a transporter. It's perfectly safe, isn't it, Ted? It has never been successfully tested. Oh, great. Jason, we're gonna test it. On what? How about that pig lizard? But the animal is inside out. I heard that. <laughs> it turned inside out? Oh! And it exploded. Oh. It's a... It's a... What do you call it? A, go a golem? Come on, Come on guys, oh, digitize no, it. Me. Come on, digitize <laughs> One's not even my real name. Fred's no good, Jason. You're just gonna have to kill it. Kill, kill it? it? It's a rock. Nobody eyes like in episode 22. It has no eyes. The throne, it's vulnerable spot. It's a rock. It doesn't have any vulnerable spots. <laughs> you construct a weapon. Look around you. It's the corn. <laughs> I've seen this episode. Oh, clap, Fred, can you hear me? Fred, are you there? Oh, no, 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 Jason, I'll just, I'll just mess it up. Well, finally, this guy's worried about something. Oh, oh. It's not me oh. anymore, man. Of course, the shirt's got to come off, right? You can do this, man. I know in my heart you're gonna save my life. Are you? Fred! Oh, he didn't see what they really look like. 
I have a feeling he's Take gonna see me, at like the end of the movie. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh la la. So you managed to get your shirt off. <laughs> Did we get the brilliant sphere installed? Yes, we are back to full power. We'll crank this sucker up, you can drop us off, and you guys can be back in your home planet before supper. We have no reason to go back. We are all that is left. I didn't know that. Mathazar, meet us up on the command deck. Mathazar, so why can't we reach them? Because that's why. I'm the... No, oh, you will face justice, Saris. You wish to save the life of this man? Then tell me, what does it do? I said I don't know. That's not the answer he wants to hear. Oh. Do you think I'm a fool? So these guys are all wearing these suits. I'm not the commander. It's all, none of it's computer generated or? Explain. Computer. Show the historical documents. It's really impressive if the whole thing is like practical. <laughs> Wonderful. Explain to him who you all really are. Well, he tried already. There's no such person as Captain Taggart. I am a actor. We pretended we lied. Oh. Oh. We, we don't have a, a ship. But there it is. That ship is that big. Our digital conveyor is a uh, Christmas tree lights. It's all fake. Aww. Just like me. It's difficult to explain. It's just entertainment. God, I am so sorry. Sarah, what about my people? Yes, far too simple a death for them, isn't it? Open an oxygen seal on level C. These guys remind me of the... from the fifth element. The guns even kind of look like they're guns too. Never give up, never surrender. By the time you just backed off, you fin-headed monstrosity. You what? You, you what, mate? You act like you did in episode 17. Oh, right. Hundreds to die just because what? of you. What did they do in, in episode 17? Good thing he caught on quick to whatever. Oh, those are real punches. Look out, Jason! <laughs> Yeah, slap him. Mm. Good job, guy. Uh oh, is guy gonna die? <laughs> Used to pull your punches. It was scene stealing hack. Thank you. Raving egomaniac. Don't where I got that from. <laughs> They're suffocating. Oh no. Core implosion estimated in eight minutes. What are we gonna do? Gwen, you and I, we're gonna get to the core and shut it down manually. Fred, take Guy and Laliar. You find that valve shut off for those thermals oh, run out of here. Oh, his girlfriend's here still. I don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor, and I'm pretty sure you don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor either. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. But I know someone who does. We're using our phone a friend? Mother, I'm quite Oh, this busy. guy. Forgot about just him. Just a okay, Ma? I promise. He's got all the figures. That's cool. Hello? Listen to me. This is Jason Nesmith. We accidentally traded boxes the other day when we bumped into each other. Oh. What's your name, son? Brandon? You asked all those little technical questions about the ship? Just wanted to tell you that I, I thought a lot about what you said. I understand completely that it's just a TV show. Well, about that. <laughs> it's all real. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> Made this kid's whole year. Sir, it's you! Thank Ibthar! Quillick? What are you doing up there? I avoided capture by using your Mokhtar stealth haze. Where is everyone? I'll explain on the way. All right, we're at level C hallway five. Now what? Your second left through the passage. Hi, Brandon. No time for pleasantries, Kaya. We have a level five emergency. Great, right, we'll get everybody online. Do they do some kind of, like, tabletop gaming session or something i wonder like a D, &D kind of thing online all right brandon i see five ducks in this room which way do we go ducks why is it always ducks? <laughs> so 
Sorry, Ridley. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Brandon. Whoa. Okay. They're dying. They should have taken a long time to suffocate, though. Wait a minute, we gotta go across this thing? Yes. This reminds me of a scene in Star Wars. Brandon. What does the Omega-13 device do? Myself and others are convinced that what it is is a matter rearranger, affecting a 13-second time jump to the past. 13 seconds. I'll go in. I'll create a distraction. I got this. It's suicide. I'm just a glorified extra, Fred. This is real life! Maybe you're the plucky comic relief sides. <laughs> I just had this really interesting idea. Are you stoned? What? I got it up. Just give him some turn. The Mokhtar chant of strength. The Rock Turoth. The Rock Turoth. The Rock Turoth. <laughs> nice. Take a left and then just straight on through the chomper. Well, screw that. Yeah. The sequence is two, two, four. How does that help us? Whoa. It makes no logical sense. Why is it? <laughs> this episode was badly written! <laughs> go! 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 Stop! Fire? What is there fire? Whoever wrote this episode should die! <laughs> this should be interesting. <sighs> oh, hi, Rock Golem. It's the simple things in life you treasure. Tentacles. Whoa. Hey, friend. He's into hey, it. Fred. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, that's not right. No. <laughs> Poor guy. Bye bye. Sir, the pressure. It's normalizing. Commander Taggart has saved us. It's just not fair. That's not fair. Oh no. I'm shot. Don't go out there, you're gonna get shot too. Say the line for him. It has been my greatest honor to serve with you. Don't speak quiet. I always considered you as a father to me. You're an imbecile. Just kidding. By Grabtha's hammer, you shall be avenged. Aww. The first time he said the line and actually was into it. Oh, he's mad. His son just died. Dropkick? My friend, I'm here. How do I shut this thing down? Okay, just push the blue button. Thought it'd be more complicated than that. Brendan, it's not working. Mother, I cannot stress enough the severity of the commander's predicament. Well, that's not good. Seven. Six, five, one. Oh, it always stops at one on the show. Um, what were you saying? Huh? What were you saying? Lock a complement of implosion missiles under the protector. Tear her apart! Whoa, 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 whoa. He's finished, he's finished. Alexander, listen to me. It's okay. His hair is peeking out through his headpiece. We need that armor back And up. her boobs are picking out through her outfit, too. Plasma armor, engage. Oh, now we're ready to get into character. Good going, Tommy. Great going. Well, I thought those mines were magnetic. Into the field! Go! Maybe he's staying far away enough now. Can you get us closer to these mines? Closer! I could try. They're coming right at us. Fire at will. We're getting hammered, Jason. Return fire? No. Convert all energy to the armor. Now he's sounding like a captain. You fail to realize that with your armor gone, my ship will tear through yours like tissue paper. And what you fail to realize is my ship is dragging mines. That's no Corbomite, that's the real deal. Mm-hmm. Yes! 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 
Jefferson. The ship was a marble as big as this. <laughs> a very clever deception indeed. He seems to have recovered <laughs> quite well. <laughs> Is he okay? We were hoping you could come with us. My people have no commander. Mathazar, I think your people have a great commander. Aww. So. Aww. You know, yes. <laughs> All right, Tommy, take us into the black hole. Alexander's looking real messed up. Jason, before the black hole, there was an energy surge from Cyrus's ship. Let's not worry about that right now. Gonna be downstairs until we just. Hey. Whoa. Why? Nice view. Ouch. Something tells me those things aren't set to stun. Mathazar, activate the Omega 13. We don't know what it does. Oh, going back 13 seconds in time. We're out. We're going home. How many times can we use it is the question. Shit. Never give up, never surrender. <laughs> that was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. The ship is too big to enter the atmosphere. We need to separate or we'll die. That made it all worth it. Never give up, never surrender. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. Bye, strange alien things. What about his girlfriend? <laughs> Time to go home. Bye, be back soon. Well, hey, Brandon, where are you going with all those fireworks? Well, the protector got super accelerated coming out of the black hole, and it's like nailed the atmosphere at Mark 15, which you guys know is pretty unstable, obviously. Yeah, they know all about it. All right, all right dinner's at seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, have fun. <laughs> well, he's outside. He's outside. That's That's even more of an issue these days with getting getting kids and people like me outside i spent a lot of time outside when i was a kid in the 90s then i got the internet whoa well this is gonna be quite the entrance oh oh somebody's merchandise just got obliterated oh <laughs> there they all are. <laughs> right on stage. Yes! Another shipmate! Yes, the mother murderer! <laughs> Tech Sergeant Chen! Red Claw! Oh no! Saris is with Give them and not dead. Give him a hand, he's British. <laughs> No. The roll. It helps. Dang. Poof. Poof. If he didn't roll, they would have all died. Come on. Nailed it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the shippers are having a heyday with this. Back again after 18 years, the new adventures of Galaxy Quest. Nice. They get new seasons, huh? She's so cute. And that hair really suits her. Fred and Jane Doe as <laughs> Liliar Lal Laliari. And? And? Introducing <laughs> Security Chief Ro Security Chief. Hell yeah. Aw, I love that for him. Good for Guy. That was fun. 
Well, what a fun little romp that was. The cast was phenomenal. A lot of faces I recognize, maybe not so much the names, but definitely Tim Allen, Alan Rickman, Sigourney Weaver, and the guy who was in The Green Mile, which I watched recently, who played Billy the Kid in that. There were definitely a lot of references to Star Trek, which I couldn't really begin to try to name them all because the whole movie was basically a whole Star Trek reference. A love letter to Star Trek. They also threw in some other neat little references. I think there was some Star Wars in there. Um, there was definitely some alien uh, little joke with Sigourney Weaver. I loved the Thermites, the Thermians, whatever the alien race was called. They were adorable in their awkward, hilarious ways. The way they talked, the way they laughed, the way they walked. I really loved it when the super fans got to help out the ones who have spent hours and hours immersing themselves in the world of Galaxy Quest and researching the science and trying to make sense of everything in a very deep and meticulous manner to the very detail. I really wonder what they do when they get together in their spare time. Are they playing some kind of role-playing game, like a D&D type situation, or are they just going over like the episodes one by one and just doing a real deep dive into everything that's going on there. We got to see some cosplayers at the convention. We got to see some romance shippers, just all the different kinds of facets of a fandom, which is really cool. I also really liked the idea of the television show being viewed as historical records to somebody who's out in space who's just pulling like these videos, these t television waves or whatever, and completely misinterpreting what they are and then basing their whole ship on it. And I don't know, it's just a really interesting concept and I really liked it. Oh, and the outfits for the bug enemy aliens for Ceres and his people. Somebody in my chat did kind of answer my question about whether they were all practical effects or whether there was some CGI involved. And apparently they were all, pra I need to look it up to like fact check myself, but from what I heard, they're all practical effects. They made the suits and then there were multiple people that were involved in making all the different parts move and it was really really effective and that was one of my favorite parts of this movie the practical effects they always get me and this just really makes me want to go watch star trek now <laughs> which i'm going to do tomorrow watching whatever episode i have coming up next again a big thank you to everybody supporting me on patreon and voting for these movies for me to watch i would not be watching this if Several people didn't vote for The Wrath of Khan for me to watch, and I wouldn't be watching Star Trek, and um, there's other movies and series that hopefully I'll be able to look into that are Star Trek adjacent. Please let me know what you guys think about this movie and about this video. Hopefully you liked it. I had a lot of fun, and hopefully you did too, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.